Okay, this is HL1ZIX, and I want to tell you a little bit about what I've been playing with for the last few days with the uh, FTDX3000. Uh, I've been playing with the Yesu software for keyboard shortcuts, uh, the PCC program, which is available, downloadable from Yesu at the, at the FTDX300 files area. It's free. Uh, this allows you to map your keyboard out to do certain things. And uh, if I go up here to to kind of look at it here, and uh, there we go, and get a look at it, it looks something like this. You can see I have uh, several control keyboard commands set up to do different things. And uh, you can put a series of commands together, cat commands together, to do different stuff. And that's what I've done here. And uh, so I can do things like change the ALC, SWR, and comp meters by clicking a uh, button or two. I can change the LSB USB carriers uh, and I also have set up some profiles here that are very similar to some Kenwood profiles that allow me to change the sound on the fly uh, as I go and let me go ahead and move on down here. There we go. So let's try some of this here and uh, listen to some signals. F2 is normalized now let's go ahead and try some more. F3 is a kind of big contour. So that raises the contour up pretty high. F4 is the same with a little bit of RF cut. So I can also just go in here and I can change the RF myself. But that's what that is. Um, that's kind of helpful sometimes. If I want to just get rid of noise and pop him up, here's normal. See, he's kind of down in that noise, but if I want to bring him out a little bit, that helps, see? Now, other things I've got, like I've got a, a medium contour. It's not too bad, a little softer. And then I've got what I call soft. This setting is soft. And it's nice and smooth. Moves a lot of that noise out of the way. They're kind of like Kenwood profiles, see? And then I've got one that's a, a big dip, minus 15. Here's that big dip. And that comes in handy on some signals. Here's normal. And I'm just clicking through. And I have it set up to kind of normalize the volume a bit, so that's why the volume goes down, so I do have to play with the volume a bit. Uh, anyway, those are some of those settings. Now, other things you can do, which are nice, are the LSB and USB carriers, and if you know about that, these are very powerful. They're menus 105 and 106. If you're on LSB like we are now, it's set to zero, but if I want to change that, I've got that set up as Control F1. So let me go ahead and find my fingers here. Here we are. Control F1 sets it to zero, which is normalized right now. Now look at that LSB carrier. Here's Control F2. And I'm going to turn up the sound. You can hear it move. Okay. Control. See, that's 60. Makes a subtle difference and allows you to kind of cut out some more of that noise. It's not going to be as noticeable on a signal like his that is very strong. But on someone who's weak, it can make the difference. So I like doing that. Um, you can also do that with the USB carrier, but we're not in USB right now, so it doesn't matter. But I have that set up. I've got the slope cut set up as Alt F1, Alt F2. And uh, let me get this uh, on the right thing. Here we go, Alt, Alt F1. And that's also hard to hear on his signal, I think. But that's the L the SSB low slope and uh, high slope. But that makes a little bit of a difference in the cut. Let me try seven and eight. 
And uh, what I'm doing is I'm cutting the top and bottom. So for example, let me set the low slope to uh, Alt F8, 7, hear that, it cuts out that low, kind of cuts that out and smooths it out. So those are some minor adjustments you can make, for example, and you can do the same thing on the high end, here it was Alt F1, Alt F2. Okay, they're very minor things, but you do a lot of little minor things like that and you can really clean up a signal. Uh, another nice thing that I think is probably one of the really nice features, whenever you're in the scope mode, you can't go in and change this meter. That's kind of a pain. You have to kind of click through until you get to there and then change and then, then you have to go back to your scope again. So what I did was I set those up on their own keys and uh, those are Alt F9, Alt F10, etc. So watch that comp scope. Here we go. ALC. SWR comp all right so those are nice uh, to set up like that so I can just click them on the keyboard um, I do find that I'm going to need to have some kind of program that allows my log 4om software to work with this software because they fight over the com port and there is a kind of com port splitter program I'm told but I haven't used it yet so I'm going to have to experiment with that so I can use this with my logging software but anyway, that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, I've also got the auto notch set up, which is kind of nice. Um, if I want to notch something out automatically, that's like shift, uh, shift F12 and F11. So see, it'll go on DNF. See DNF go on and off. Anyway, that's nice to have there. So I don't have to go into that menu again and change stuff. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of other things too. So anyway, that's what I've been messing with. It's been a lot of fun and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if I can uh, help you out or send you any files.